when it comes to dating i know men are led by this but successful men are led by this <laughs> My name is Abby and if it's your first time watching me, welcome and if you've watched my other videos, welcome back. I'm the founder of CoachAbby.com and I help women in the areas of life, love and dating to become the best versions of themselves but today I'm going to be making a video for young men out there because I see myself as a boy mum. I would love to have at least three boys and there's so much misguided information on the internet today. So much information teaching men how to not become the best versions of themselves and information teaching young men how to hate on women and that's very toxic. I'm not here for it. So I wanted to make a video to keep you young men on the path to righteousness as they say. Now in this life, there are so many distractions. That's why it's so important that you set goals for yourself. Goals are basically your life GPS. Let's just say you want to go north. Along the way, you're gonna meet people that wanna take you south. You'll meet people that want to take you west. You'll meet people that say, hey, let's just stop in east. Or why do you need to go north? When you have your goals, you know exactly where you're going and why you're doing the things that you need to do. Once you know your goals, you have to be real with yourself. It's all about what you're doing today. Is that going to get you closer to your goal? If it's not, you're going to have to make those changes. If you find that smoking weed or drinking a lot of alcohol is keeping you sluggish, it's important that you cut that out. No one's going to do it for you, so you have to do it for yourself. It's very important that you surround yourself with like-minded individuals. You are the people that you spend the most time with. And if you're around people who are not in alignment to your goals or they're holding you back, you're going to have to take distance from them. And it's okay to do that. This is where a lot of people stay stuck and want to stay the same because to reach your goals, you have to change. At one point, operating at a certain level of consciousness worked well for you, but now you've realized, especially if you're watching this channel, something's probably clicked when you and you've realized you want more out of life, you want something better. That is okay. Sometimes you have to drop the weight that's holding you down. Get around people that are like-minded. Seek mentorship, especially for young men out there. Get guidance from people that have walked the path before you. I myself, when I decided to be an entrepreneur, I got into certain groups of like-minded women and I'm so happy that I did because the journey to success can be so, um, it requires you to have faith and you can really doubt yourself. So getting around women who have walked the path before me just gives me so much hope and they're always there to encourage me. Sometimes your friends don't see the vision and why would they? It's your vision. My advice personally, keep your goals to yourself. Don't tell anybody until you've achieved them or you've at least got the hang of things because what happens is when you start looking to other people, for advice who haven't walked the same path as you, they're going to put their own interpretations and projections onto you. So sometimes people just set themselves up for failure. So because they can't do it, they will assume that you can't do it. That's why it's so important, I cannot stress enough, to put yourself around people that are going in the same direction as you. Get into the habit of networking, especially if there's no one in your environment right now, that's okay. Online, there are so many support groups. Get coaching, get mentorship, highly recommend it. When it comes to dating, I know men are led by this, but successful men are led by this. This is why athletes train away from home, particularly during big matches, big training days, Athletes have to stay away from home and there are rumours that if an athlete doesn't perform well on the day, 
it's because he was doing things the night before. So you have to stay focused. Sometimes you have to take your attention off of women. Now, of course, you are allowed to have fun, but it's so important that you vet these women. When I was 25, I changed the type of men that I was dating because it became clear to me that I could get pregnant by some of these guys and they're really not the best role model for my future child. So I decided that I had to date better. And it's the same for you men. I get it. She bad, she bad until she empties out your bank account or she starts telling lies on you or you get her pregnant whether you intended to or not. Things don't go her way and now you can't see your child. There are so many men battling women back and forth, arguing to see their child, but unfortunately they can't because she bad, she bad, right? So it's so important that you vet these women. I find unfortunately that there are a lot of men who get upset when a woman requires them to do the standard, particularly within the black community. I've dated outside of my race. So for certain men, the standard really is to provide. It's what's been modeled to them. But within the black community, it's likely that you've grown up and you've seen your mother do it all. So when you are asked to do the standard, it can be frustrating for you and you can get upset. And that's why a lot of men are spilling out hate because they don't want to do well for themselves. Whether you grew up with a positive male role model in your household or not, my question to you is why would you not want to become the best version of yourself? My advice is set the standards so that you can create the path for your future children. Because if you never had a father in your life, you obviously know what that's like. Why would you choose to continue that cycle? Generational curses, generational cycles, are always broken when it starts with you. So make sure you are that change, young man. I am rooting for you. If you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. I don't really care. Feel free to fight me in the comment section. That's all I have to say for now. Bye.